back. My next guest is an old friend of mine, a great girl writer. She worked for The Post. She knows this city. Uh, she's a, a female hot version of Jimmy Breslin. That's what I've always said. Thank you. <laughs> That's as good as a compliment gets. I'll take You've it. got a new podcast now called News Whore. And, yeah. Uh, please welcome Mandy Stanmiller. What's up? Hey. How do you, you like, doing? Do you like the name of my podcast? Yeah, it's very, it's very subtle, right? News whore. <laughs> now, yeah. uh, where does that come from? Do you feel that's what you are on some level? Are you, did you just call me a whore? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I, saying it's a clever name. I Well, so there was kind of three parts to it. I worked for News Corp for a long time. You did? Yeah. How long were you at the Post? Um, 2005 to 2012. Okay. And that's paying your dues there. That's a long time. And it was page yeah. si page six mostly, right? No, everyone thinks that just because Richard Johnson was really sweet to me and uh -huh. would always take my well, items. I remember you, yeah, your name was on there a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm like a you know news whore. But <laughs> I yeah. So uh, so it was kind of a play on News Corp. And then right. you know they call someone who's always angling for press like a media whore. Sure. And then my most famous story was me on the cover of the paper with a gigolo. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of I like a that. three part, really, yeah. really layered. And then also just, you know, whores. It's layered, so, yeah. it's kind of layered, mm -hmm. complicated. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> there's yeah. subtlety, there's deepness, and it's right in your face. And Go. I was just telling you, we just had Lisa Ann, and I'm actually hoping to get, um, because I worked with Sydney Leathers on a story <laughs> for Exo Jane. Speaking of the voice of our times. Yeah. Uh, well, no, wait, okay, no, no, so did you see what she did tonight? She was trending on Twitter. Norton you know, knows what is that? No, he knows her. I'm sure he does. He's close with her. But what? what oh, you're, you're close to her? No, no, Jimmy Norton is. Yeah, no, I know. I know. No, I don't know. I, know. I don't you know. Her. No, what, 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 give, her, give me her, her, her resume. She's well, porn. She's porn, but. Yeah, it's funny because I talked to her before she was a porn star. What sets her aside? From the others, well, what what puts her on the, on the top running? Besides her intellect. <laughs> Besides that, no, of she actually she's really into politics, right? Yeah, she is. Um, Very involved in. Yeah. Learning I, about politics. Yeah. You know what? I just always notice <laughs> carnal knowledge of politics. I'm constantly impressed by people who really don't give a care, to use <laughs> Colin's expression, um, about what people think of them. Sure. And so I was fascinated by how she wasn't trying to pretend that she was anything other than what she was. Which she is, yeah. Which was and who cares what someone right. messing with a politician, knowing that she had him wrapped around her finger sure. and you know i mean she was on seeking arrangement or whatever those other sites and yeah. would so i mean i kind of i like people who are frank rather than she's real yeah and a she's sea real. of phoniness <laughs> <laughs> well there is i mean that's all the media usually yeah. is or whatever i mean and she's she's like look take what take what you get right yeah. right we well, right. like that yeah and then so tonight i guess what did she, she do why was she trending well, so tonight she showed up at Wiener's. No. I swear to God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So God bless for, you I know, feel, feel putting... What she was outside his office this afternoon, right? And then she tried to show up to the party tonight. Yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> Which is, I mean, talk about... See, that's like... That's amazing. That's a nerve of, of, of steel. That's like, yeah, she Dupree showing up at... When uh, when uh, Spitzer was at the press conference trying to like give his uh, mea culpa, that would be like her showing up there. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of. Did, you, you, speaking of which, I heard you talking about Ashley Dupree. I one time ran into her at the bathroom of the New York Post because she became our she was, yeah, no, esteemed she was sex columnist. <laughs> yeah, and so we were running a special sex issue, and we were running a big centerfold layout of Ashley's body where yeah. she talked about all the different things that she liked to have done, you know, mm -hmm. nibbling on her ear, well, here. Well, she was very, very good at her job. She wrote a great <laughs> article, a very detailed article. Well, so here's the thing. So I was in the bathroom and it was like out of um, a sitcom. Yeah. I said, you know, what is Ashley going to tell me to, you know, go down on her? Is that going to be her <laughs> advice? And then she opens the bathroom stall and she's like, what's that? <laughs> 
and wow. she was there the whole time. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. So, <laughs> but can you think of in history? I mean, she is right out of a movie. After that happened, that she did everything you'd think like a, a cliche would be. She got three managers, an agent, a lawyer, launched a singing career. She's writing for the Post. Well, she, she, there, there's a great documentary called Client Nine. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and yeah. About, about the Spitzer scandal. Yep. And it has the greatest ending in the history of documentaries. It's her on the Geraldo Rivera show, and Geraldo gives her a mic. It's Christmas time, and says, uh, "We know you're a great singer. Why don't you hit us with a little uh, Christmas carol?" Yeah. And she claims it's like, "Oh, oh, just off the cuff like this." She's like, "Yeah." And she right. clearly, it's the worst lip syncing you ever. Seen. <laughs> right. And she's not even in tune to the weather outside. <laughs> I, uh. <laughs> and well, that's so, how it ends. It's perfect. You know what? Bonfire <laughs> the vanities. It's perfect. To me, she is the perfect model of how you hustle the media. That's it. Because she, so had, she, did. she had it ready to go when she reached the, the apex. She had her crappy single on MySpace. <laughs> yeah. And when she was a novelty, she was ready. who wouldn't download that for 99 cents? Gee, and even boom, just a laugh a million, and a million, on it. Yeah, a yeah. million downloads. She's... She yeah. said, "Look, I, I was I, on. I, I was on the Stern show at the time. We did yeah. it like just to goof on it, to play it. Right. And, and 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 listen, she did exactly. She wasn't even what you get out of this documentary, Client Nine. She wasn't even the main person he saw. She oh, no, he no, no, really no. loved one woman that he saw a lot. Yeah. And she had some sort of integrity not to get involved with it. Right. He saw Ashley Dupree once. Yeah." One yeah. time at the Mayflower Hotel in D.C. She was coy, and she, yeah. And the reason, she was the one who got caught. Yeah, she right. was on a wiretap. Yeah. And, and she, well, man, did she run with it. She was given the handoff, and she ran. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm curious financially if you were to stack up some of these, you know, political kind of fame whore, gold digger girls. Right. Who would, I mean, that would be a good infographic for like right. you, yeah. USA love Today to see, or something. I'd love to see that stat. Because yeah. I, I, listen, I don't know how much she made, but Like she's the sort of, Tiger Woods woman? Yeah. One of those, one of those, Women only came House. away with yeah. She came away with whatever the chicken burrito. That <laughs> I know, like really. Again, I always say if you're gonna be a whore, be a smart whore. Yeah. I always say that like when you get into the movie business, you could tell there's one girl who might be in a movie, uh, and she has a small part, but very pretty, and you could see she's trying to bang like one of the writers, and you're like, wrong move. <laughs> Wrong move. You gotta be a smart whore. Bang the director. You gotta bang the guy who can put you in the movie. Right. The writer has nothing. What like I, what chicks who tried to bang me is the third lead. Nothing I can do for you. <laughs> I couldn't get them a meeting with my manager. <laughs> and they're like, well, maybe I'll bang him. He can get No, I can't do it. Get the, it, but the smart whores will go, who's the head of the effing studio? <laughs> right, right, right. And right. you know, that's that's what you gotta do. And you gotta respect the ones who are smarter. Have you ever dated a porn star? No. No, no. Well, a lot of guys, that's their well, thing. Well, I, I dated, well, I went out with a girl who was in Playboy lingerie. Okay. And she might have done something here or there. Put it this way, I wouldn't put it past her. Yeah. <laughs> but she was in, she was a little hardcore in the Playboy lingerie, real sexy. Are you still with uh, your girlfriend? Yeah, well, we're, we're engaged. <gasps> we're engaged. That's awesome. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Thank yeah, you. she's lovely. Yeah, she's very nice. Yeah, very sweet. Wonderful. Uh, so, uh, do you have the date set? No. No Are you so. gonna have like Sydney Leathers kind of be a <laughs> bridesmaid? Now, who's Sydney Leathers now? Sydney Leathers. She says I'm all stern. I'm not into the porn loop anymore. I she's not. Well, I mean, she just became a porn star. So and, she's 17. And here's the, here's the <laughs> every, every, every rookie porn star is now in their teens. So the crazy thing about Sydney is that she never because um, Wiener is such a weirdo and he only had <laughs> the, the fact that this guy's name he is only, Wiener too. He only <laughs> had the he only yeah. did the sexting. Right. So he never has. That's what I mean, he physical, never got anything out of it either, really. No physical contact with her. It was all the fantasy And he got for him. all the trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? At least Spitzer, you know, got off. So, so, but she did one porn movie, and then it turned out that the guy that she had sex with was the guy who shut down the entire porn industry because oh, he was exposed yeah. to HIV. Oh, that's the one, So yeah. can you imagine that? You do... It's it's a really... It's no. like you're the flea that started the plague. Yeah. <laughs> and so when I when I interviewed uh, Lisa Ann on News Whore, which everyone can subscribe news to... News Whore, News Whore, on, yes. on the Riotcast network, it's just riotcast.com. Listen, I, I can say, if Mandy's involved, I'm sure it's informative and it's great. Yeah. So, absolutely. 
Newsroom. But Lisa Ann, but Lisa Ann, it was very funny. That was the first question was I asked her what she thought of Sydney Letters. And she <laughs> was just like, well, that's what people that's what happens to people when they're not professionals and they try and do porn. <laughs> and I was like, damn. Go girl. Yeah. Go girl. Well, that's awesome. I, I, you know, the thing, the thing I'll say, I'll tell you the thing I always loved about, about uh, Mandy is she was real cool. She was young. Cute girl, smart, good writer, who worked for one of the biggest media outlets in the world, the New York Post, and she was a friend of the comedian. Like you were like a comics friend, man. Like yeah, you I were, like, like you I always like were fair. Whenever I was in one of your articles, you were fair to me, even in my horrible time. Yeah, you were supportive of me. Yeah. I always felt like I had a friend in a powerful position, which was nice to know. But comics loved you. You were always you're a fan of comedy, and yeah. you were, you're funny yourself. Thanks. And a funny writer, and uh, so that's why uh, you're kind of special. All of us, like me and Colin, like we all know you and, and, and love you. So it's great. I totally support this news whore. And we're gonna come back, uh, take a quick break. We'll talk more about it and make sure you know how to get it. Uh, back with more of Mandy after this.